In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a linked image here in Illustrator. So to add images, specifically a linked image, you need to go up to File, down to Place. That's Command, uh, Shift, Command, P, or Shift, Control, P, if you're on PC or Windows. So we'll click Place. And we need to go find a photo. So we'll go to the Downloads folder, and we'll select this. Well, let's go to Date Added. I just downloaded a photo here, so I'm going to select this photo. But before I hit Place, I need to make sure that Link is checkmarked. So that's how you can actually make it linked instead of embedded. So this link is checkmarked. We're going to hit place. It's going to allow us to place this in here. We could just click and drag if we want to place it in uh, to a specific size. That way it doesn't place massive in your document. And so here's the photo we brought in. It's a linked photo. We can actually see that in our properties panel up here. It says linked file. We can click on this. We can also see the link right here in our linked files or our, um, I believe this is like our assets list of anything you've like embedded or any photos or imagery. Now with this guy, we can actually drop it down and see some more information. So you can see the name of the photo, the format, color space, and even the location of which you can click on to show it in Finder. Or if you're on Windows, you'll be able to see like the path where this photo exists. That's how you can keep track of the linked files because if you move that or delete it from that spot, this will that will break the link itself. And you'll have to actually click this button right here and relink it. So you'd have to go find the new spot of the photo and select it to be able to like solve that link and kind of heal it and connect it again. So this linked photo, the reason you might use a linked photo is because it doesn't increase the size of your actual Illustrator document. It also allows you to replace that linked file. So like if you were editing something and you wanted to go make a tweak to this, you could go edit it and save it down in the exact same spot with the exact same name and it would just update the link here in your Illustrator document or maybe in everyone's Illustrator documents that they're all linking to that same photo. So that's kind of the power of linking photos here in Illustrator.